I've got a piece of Epiphyllum chrysocardium that I've grown from a cutting. So it was only about that big when I got it about a couple of years ago. There's new leaves coming out but still it's still awfully slow and I'm just wondering what's going on. I also planted this little Ionium with it and the same pot. You can see the bottom there's no roots so I've had this growing in here for the last couple of months so it's summer they go dormant and it, this is now the first month of autumn and Ionium are just starting to wake up but this one just seems to be getting smaller and smaller and there's also I've noticed there's actually a little bite mark on the side there so I started digging up the pot that it's in and you would not believe what I found hello there my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Scarabops. We used to have a lawn and I used to get them in the lawn, even in my front garden. Hang on, let's just count how many is in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And let's go dig up some more if there's more. So those are the ones I got from the surface. Oh, another one here. Hang on, where are you? 22, 23, oops, 24. Okay, so 24, uh, oops, hmm, 25, look, a big one. I just watered this pot and as I'm watering it in, my Ionium started sinking down. So I thought the soil is a little bit too loose for my liking. So I started digging around and 25, is that 25, 24, 25? So anyway, 25. So I started digging around and got a really nasty surprise so 25 scarab grubs so if you find another one 26 where are you come here uh, so 26 oops so if you find that your plant is not growing it's probably worthwhile to just check it by tipping out your soil 27 oh my goodness uh, to see if there's any scarab grubs and they will turn into beautiful beetle one day but I just don't want them in my plants see they also have a right to life but <laughs> not when you're in my pot plants Ooh, 27 28 okay another one amazing so now also the right thing to do is to get rid of this soil but what I normally do with this one is I have in the past actually okay 29 or 30 okay I can't remember anymore so it's a lot so I don't normally throw the soil into the garden because if there's still any little scarab there it's just gonna start again isn't it so you have to get rid of the soil but the only way I get rid of the soil I don't really get rid of the soil I put this in a sealed container so a little bucket will do and keep it there until and I fill it up with water and okay I'm just gonna do a shortcut now this is the soil from my first encounter with the scarab grub in another pot about a week ago and we had rain ready so that's why there's water in it so I was just uh, drying out the soil where I also got some scarabs on that one anyway I'll just put the soil in there so now if there's any I'm gonna wash you. Um, okay, rinse everything out. If there's any scarab grubs in that one, they will also drown. Ooh, okay, sorry, scarabs. But, and I'll also put a drop of tea tree oil for good measure. So, tea tree oil. So, I'm gonna put a drop of tea tree oil. Just so the soil doesn't smell. Okay, a drop. Okay, just be generous. That's enough. Maybe that's a capful. 
and you can see the tea tree oil at work there look at that it's just dispersing itself and I'm just gonna stir it up and uh, leave it there for a few days let it dry up as well a little bit and the tea tree oil will prevent the soil I mean the soil mixture or the water from smelling because it will go off and then this one I will dispose of this and put it in a plastic bag and throw it in the rubbish bin or the trash can I should probably give this one a magpie no it just flew away The reason why I'm here is because I was looking for my kante, my baby kante that's growing over here. And I saw this, look, my Lola all of a sudden has got this thing happening. Why is that? The soil is, uh, it pulled the plant into the soil. Normally, when this happens, there is something going on. So this happened to me twice, but this is the first time I've seen this in a small pot. So if my suspicion is correct, we should see some something amazing, some, some, something. It's not amazing. It's horrible. It's terrible. Okay. I'm going to tip this out. There you go. Do you see what I see? Okay, so those grubs, they are eating, um, there's three of them, look at that, ah, oh. so if you have loose dirt like that, then check your plant, so the, these grubs, these lawn grubs, we call them lawn grubs, and anyway, so there's another bug here that's crawling, so anyway, this one now, look at the beautiful Lola, or probably actually the Ranciana and the there's a few of this uh, is that only you I'm sorry okay that bug I think they stink as well that black bug and the little tiny centipede that's running around I don't know if you can see that look oh gone um, that I leave them because they actually eat the gnats and the gnats eggs and also I find the mealybug <laughs> <laughs> aphids okay look at that ah oh, okay so now this one now i will attend to that later on beautiful look at that beautiful beautiful pink but this one now i'm gonna dispose of and the soil i don't use the soil anymore what i do i leave the soil out to dry up so any eggs if there's tiny little eggs of this one that i can't see what happens is they will die so i leave this to dry out in the open so it's always worth it to check your plants that's why even though i have a lot of plants i do take the time to check up on them because you don't know what's happening and this can happen so just put this in the plastic bag and throw this in the bin and that's why check your babies don't be complacent and this one now i'm going to put it in a smaller container and leave it out somewhere in the dry where it doesn't get wet and also once it dries normally i would leave this for about a month or two or normally i just forget about it the soil and then when i find it is completely dried up and then i throw it into my garden bed <laughs> 